Alice Shadow EOT here today with Melanie Kong. How are you doing today here at the Wicked Valley? I'm doing great. We know you are Lucy from the Peanuts or Charlie Brown factory. But what was your first acting job that you do? My first acting job that I did was I was an extra in The Godfather, the first Godfather. And I also put um, merchandise on my table for The Godfather as well as an 8x10. Kind of add that to the whole Peanuts thing for add a little dimension to what I do. How did you get into this acting? Um, my father signed me up uh, at a casting agency in San Francisco. Can you tell us the troubles? Um, there, well, it's a little different for me as a child. Um, I, I really don't know of any challenges because I was a kid. I think it's a little different. It's a whole different world when um, adults try to break into voice acting. Um, I don't know how that goes because it's not my experience. Um, but uh, I just basically use my own voice when I when I did the when I did this job. Were you ever a fan of any voices? Of the, of the voices? Oh, that's a really good question. I like that question. Um, oh, I had a lot. I really liked um, Tennessee Tuxedo, uh, and I can't remember his name offhand. I can think of him in my head, um, but his name is eluding me right now. Um, I also liked uh, Fred Flintstone. So yeah, there were there were a few of them back then. That that question caught me off guard. <laughs> when a recording Lucy, how much of Lucy is you and how much of Lucy is acting? Um, I I don't. I mean, when she said fun things, I would say that was just like me. I don't. I wasn't a mean kid. I wasn't a bully. So I. I don't relate to that at all, but I guess you could say that was acting when she was being mean, um, calling people blockheads and things like that because I didn't do things that I can remember. So I'm on Facebook primarily, and it's at, at sign Melanie, M E L A N I E J K O H N. And if you just type that in, then it'll come up with my business page on Facebook. Thank you very much for being with us today. Everyone, Melanie Cohn. Thank you.